Stunning announcement Thursday, President Biden rolled out his newest effort to fight COVID-19. To ensure their workforces are fully vaccinated. Companies with more than 100 employees must either require vaccination or weekly COVID testing. Large Kentucky employers like Humana, Baptist Health and UofL Health have already rolled out vaccine mandates for at least some of their employees, but it's something that more medium sized companies have held off on. Wilson and Muir Bank employs close to 150 people, most of them vaccinated. President Frank Wilson still isn't sure how the new mandate will impact the rest. If it applies to the entire uh, organization or if it's a workplace. Legal experts have questions too, chief among them how quickly the mandate will face almost certain legal challenges. Ultimately, you've got the, the global pandemic and how it can affect everyone versus you look at individual liberties. Brad Zoppitz says a 1905 ruling upheld state's authority to mandate vaccines, and he thinks the legal road forward is rooted in the rights of those states. The police powers of the states um, to decide whether or not they're going to force people um, into uh, getting the vaccine. At Wilson and Muir, incentives have worked better than a mandate. Wilson anticipates weekly testing will be a burden. I certainly understand the federal government requiring it. I was surprised that it went so far as to require organizations with 100 people or more. That burden could present another legal challenge, too. Who's going to pay for uh, the testing? Is the Are the employers going to pay for it? Are the employees going to be forced to pay for it? Companies will also have to pay employees for time off to get vaccinated, a cost that could be cheaper than the $14,000 fine for shirking the rule. In Louisville, for WHIS 11 News, I'm Grace McKenna.